And welcome back to my uh, let's react to my let's play footage. To my own let's play footage. Yeah. Alright, we were left off this cat out of prison. And this is for uh, Manji. Manjo. Manji gets reintroduced. Oh, there he is. God, that's a, he went funny. I feel like death without this, like, skinning enamel that has never existed or has yet to exist. I'm asking for a friend. Oh, man, man. This is actually, I don't... This is, like, pretty, pretty neat because, like, he just... This is basically just reintroducing himself uh, to him and be like, Hey, you know, you remember that promise I told you? I was going to keep an eye on you, and I am. Actually, this, this part does, uh, uh, does serve uh, like a, pr a particularly really good, like, uh, narrative purpose because it kind of reestablishes their weird friendship but also uh, kind of shows you as a player as the you know as the character that well as the player that he does have a lot you do have a long way to go before you uh, back at, before you get back to your uh, normal self like Cosme just uh, kind of says, yeah, man, I, I didn't fight for 10 years because I realized when I got tired of like fighting them and when I realized I can just ignore their threats and I get bored and leave your own, I sent you up for 10 years. And Mon's just like, dude, that's not good. I am not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fuck you with that reason, my friend. It's just dangerous. Oh damn. Oh man, got soft. Those bum fuckers. Wow. Going on, wow. Basically, man. I don't know. It's. I think it's very. It's actually. Uh, well, he's got a point. Like, he really does. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, I know he's kind of doing this because he wants to fight Kazuma. Kazuma, but, um... They have kind of a weird friendship, honestly. Oh, now now he gets a fight, right? Now it's a challenge. Just a little tall. Oh, man. See like Cosmo and like a Manji fuck for the first time. Manjo fuck for the first time. Like this is a this is a very hard fight to win. Um, it's possible to do it, but you're not you're not supposed to because it's one of those supposed to lose battles, right? And the idea is you uh, you get your ass handed to you. And but like, okay, okay, I get it, you know, I gotta get back to where, the way I was, you know? And he's just, you know, and it, it kind of, as just like a player, well, it works as a, as a narrative device and as like a, as a device for the player to show you that you're not as strong as you used to be when you start the game out. Right, because you started the game with all of your abilities unlocked, now you have to rebuild yourself up. And like, uh, it's all part of like, uh, I don't think it's intentional, but, um, it might be, but like a lot of Japanese games have this sort of this ideal of like teaching you to, uh, to crawl before you can walk and then when you can walk, you can run. And so like, this is, you're basically just restarting over and the game's like, Forcing the idea into your head, that idea into your head. 
Like, the reason this works a lot better than the, the bullshit they pulled in God War three times is because it makes sense. It's narratively sound. It's just not like, well, we don't have to build a, a game around this ultra powerful Kratos. We can just take your powers away and just have you just fight well the heck. Fight your way out of hell for the second time. That yeah, God War 3 was my favorite, if I'm being honest. Because they pull that crap in God War 3, and it's like, come on, man. Just let me climb, like, just let me climb Mount Olympus again. Like, you, you get thrown to hell, get killed, thrown to hell, whatever. And it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't get on that. God War 3 is my least favorite God War game. I haven't played the new one, so don't ask me. I don't know what you're talking about, so don't ask me about it. Uh, I reform this promise, my friend. Once you stay in this time, we'll be on your ass. It's a worthless fight against me. I bet you. Ah, right, man. Let's be talk about courage, man. It's like, don't want to fucking die, man. Better get your shit together. I know, I can't remember what those do. Like for the life of me, I can't I can't remember what they do. I think they do something. I think you can use them to unlock something, but god if I remember. They had to build these in like uh EQ is like uh some of them you have to learn uh through certain events, right? Or someone just come with time, but others you can unlock through basically just leveling up. It's like a good mix of like uh you know, learning through combat and like just just putting your little skill point to well, to get that ability. I mean, it's like that idea I said before. You know, Jeffy Games wants you to well, some of them, not all of them wants you to crawl before you can walk and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Rebel was like that too, but that's a completely different conversation together. It's the game's amazing. Yeah, if you forgot, we're, uh, I got head to the Stardust uh, nightclub. Uh, because of the letter I got in the, in the last footage. And this dude's like, yo, punk ass Abe. That's his name. What a, what a great name for a band. Like, who you, uh, I was here. We are the punk ass Abe's and we play. Ah, uh, country music. Yeah. Yeah, the, the one thing, uh, the one thing you keep forgetting this game is that when you're switching different styles, you gotta hold the D-pad down. Like, it doesn't happen when you flick it. And when you try to flick it, like, it pops up a little menu. Like, it's trying to like trying to let you scroll through it like other games do with their uh like the weapon slots i just have to hold it down for like a second and just phew. god that looks still looks like hers like hell super burgers that's a great name that's a great name I could open up like a uh, vegan burger place and call it like to revenge of diabetes or something like that. <laughs> That's a bad joke, but you know, whatever.
Don't can't say that. That's a hell of a name. Is that the name your mother gave me? Yes, my mother was punk as hell. What do you mean? She liked punk music? No, her name was punk as hell. And my father was her side bitch. <sighs> what is that supposed to mean? Well, my father's name was side bitch. Like, why did why is your father's name side bitch? And goes, well, it's because uh, my grandmother was on the crack. Is that her name? No, she she was a crack addict. Huh. The chain's got stuff somewhere, I suppose. Yeah, I'm getting stacked up because uh, I must admit I have uh, I have tried to trim this game in the past before to varying degrees of success, but. In my head as I'm playing this, I'm thinking about what's coming next. Particularly with a fight, uh, the fight was, I think you can call literally like the first boss of the game. It's pretty tough. Yeah, that's how you get the random counters in the streets of, in the streets of Tokyo. Well, Tokyo is really the only city in it, except Okinawa. And, uh. Oh my god. Um. God. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything more than that. I got. I have to admit, I am kind of a, a dumb American when it comes to stuff like that. And Americans are kind of dumb with, the, with stuff like that. Like some people think Milwaukee's a state. Not bad, little stuff. Alright, man. I remember him. He was the he was the guy who was without format. But back away, yeah. On time was spent, Christ, on time was spent, wow. You know what's the person? Oh yeah, I think everybody knew, man. I imagine everybody talked about it. I mean, all the gossip rags, all the... I guess there wouldn't be in YouTubers like MySpace people. Like, put their flip phones, like... <gasps> My son? I don't know. No. I have no idea when MySpace was a thing. Like, I know it's still around, but... That's all I know about MySpace. I've been on it since, like, forever. Probably since, like, the 90s. Yeah, 
それで5年前、突然、田村さんが町から消えたんです。I mean, just born up in Venice. I'm like, there are corpses smothered in concrete got pulled up on the bay. Oh man, that's a terrible way to go. That's a very mafia thing to do, too. I don't, I don't know if there's something he cares to do. I don't know, maybe. I don't know much about criminal organizations. I really don't. Yeah, this is where you, uh, you get caught up on everything. I mean, I just want to throw up, so, you know. I imagine somebody's watching this, uh, listening to me and reading it at the same time. So that you can just, like, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, I'm not, I'm not 100% what a, what a hostess club is. I, I don't I don't quite get it because I've been to some conventions and um, well I think it's like some of the ones in Arkansas they do like a Disney version of it but it's like uh, you sit around in the room and you get like these little uh, like you, you get like a little uh, like some girls just and cosplay come up and just uh, give you like a little cake or something and you eat it and just leave I guess or they usually pop up like in like 10 in the morning or something. And because I don't live uh, you know, anywhere nearby anything. I'm usually not there like 10 in the morning to do stuff like that. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
those two Muppets are always complaining to each other if they were in a zombie film. It's a good film. It's a good film, though. You should sh you should check it out. It really is. Now, this is actually like uh, this is one of the things I really like about Yakuza. It's stuff like this. This stuff just happens to you sometimes. Like some guy, like just some kind of like uh, uh just like a scam. Like a girl uh, accuses you of like of groping her, and like some dude just says, "Hey, if you don't uh, pay, hey, we well, forget if you don't pay up, but if you don't, we call the cops." He's like, "I don't care, man." Like, <sighs> I didn't do it. Huh? I ain't paying shit, man. I won't touch you if you beg me. Wow, touch her ass if you beg me. Wow, that's a very direct statement. There's no room interpretation for that statement. Ah, oh, yes, that's uh, he's going to get his ass kicked. I, I think he's going to Mansing Man. I love these names, like. It's like Punk has a man's man. His name is Two Shoe Joe because he wore two shows and he loves and he loves using a two show a two show two shoes to kick ass. Because he's two show Joe. Are we done already? Right? I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys actually pretty gonna be sorry, man. It's like Freaking his feet. That's a good name for a. Uh, uh, that's a good. That's a. That's a good term. It can be used in many uh, different places. It's like when you buy. It's like when you buy your wife off. You're not buying your wife off. It's a freaking his feet. I oh, pissed her off and we'll buy some jewelry. Forgiveness free. Forgiveness free. Alright, yeah. Cosmo's face cracks me up. He's just kind of like, what is this? No, like, what are you doing? Go get a job. I mean, it didn't take a long to jump ship. It really didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's Cosma. Uh, we built. Uh, we've been telling people through the power of his uh, eyebrows, his scowl. Like he's not angry; he's just disappointed. Alright, man, I guess I wish to. Alright, man. Oh, we're going to the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Seriously, I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe on that. And, and until next time.